Okay, the liquor looks pretty clear. So I'm gonna dump this last one on top and I'm gonna start running. And be very gentle when you do this too. You don't wanna aerate the, the hot liquid. It's only when we get to uh, the fermentation side that we want, or the cold side that we want um, oxidation to happen. Right now we want to keep as little oxygen getting into the beer as possible. I'm now running into this bucket just so I get an idea of my rate of flow. It's a bit easier to see. I've got it graduated and I can see that I'm running a little bit fast. So I'll just close that a bit. I'm just going to show you the way that the, the bed should be before you start um, sparging. It should be quite level, probably not as dried out as this, but we'll get the sparge water on this right away. Just so you don't have little divots and, and so on. You want it to be quite level. So now I'm going to very gently ladle the wort that's in the bucket here into the kettle. We want to do it very, very gently though. We don't want to entrain any oxygen into it because that will spoil the beer at the end. And things like oxygenating the wort at this point when it's hot is not a good thing. So don't do it. Gentle. Be very gentle at this stage. <laughs> 